Hey G3, what's going on family? So I just did the week of wine, it's uploading, but I wanted to bring another reading. So I'm sitting here just shuffling the cards. I didn't press play yet, but the cards came out in two. Look what came out. The Chariot and the Ten of Pentacles. So there's a Cancer here that wants success with you, the Ten of Pentacles with you. They, they want to grow with you, grow old with you. I feel like they want to love on you, okay? They want to give you the world. They want to cater to you, okay? They want to whip you too. I don't know what that's about. Um, then the Ace of Swords came out with the Temperance. So I feel like there is a Sagittarius on Earth Angel that wants to tell you the truth or an Earth Angel that is here to speak the truth, okay? And then Justice and the Ace of Cups came out. So this is a Libra that is that, that wants to love you. And then the sun was at the bottom of the deck and it was in reverse. And I feel like you, my Leo, okay, because I'm talking to a Leo here. So this is going to be a Leo reading because this is a Leo. <laughs> when I put, when I, but I seen like, they kept coming out in twos. So I'm like, I did it the first time, did the second time. And then I'm like, okay, the third time I said, okay, we got, I got a first play. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway and this is for my leos okay i feel like my leos you have a, you you are in this high priestess energy you are in this lion energy um i feel like you have overcome so much you're no longer crying you're no longer sad you're no longer you know worried about things of the past or maybe it was some type of relationship somebody was you know cheating on you lying to you you're no longer worried about those things you're focused on your crafts you're focused on your truths okay you're focused on um you know what you like to do and what you what you came to do okay you're focused on what on what you know you're focused on what you know to be true too okay <laughs> you ain't worried about what's going on behind you because you already know what's happening so you're no longer in that sad energy but I feel like you're you're upside down when it comes to all of this energy right here. This is a lot of energy on the table. This is three separate things going on. This is three separate stories playing out all in your life. Okay? All in the life of the Leo. I need to I need to get, you want to get some clarifiers. You want to see what's going on with this energy. So let's talk about this cancer here. Okay, I feel like this cancer wants to have some type of forward movement with you. This cancer wants to love on you. Okay, G3, let me clarify on the chariot and the ten of pentacles. Or this, or this cancer is, um, I don't know, very abundant. I feel like maybe door the spirit in reverse. This cancer is it, some. It's some low energy, negative energy, yeah. Patience. This cancer is trying to be patient. With some type of contract. This cancer wants to bring you some type of contract, but they're trying to be strategic. They're trying to strategize how they're going to bring you some type of contract. Maybe make some type of commitment. Somebody wants to marry you. Yeah, somebody is, is it's a cancer that wants to marry a Leo, Okay. They're trying to have patience with the situation. They're trying to, um, you know, figure out. I, I'm seeing the best. It's like they're trying to figure out your schedule. When's the best time to propose? And if I'm, you know, my bad. Stop watching tarot, okay? Because it's going to just give you, what, ain't no secrets. You know what I'm saying? So you better act surprised when this person gets down on their knee. All right? Now, I don't know if you want to marry them or not, but somebody wants to marry you here, okay? Okay? Somebody wants to marry you here. And I feel like somebody, maybe they, they, they want you to, yeah, look, happy family. Come on. Somebody wants to marry you. They want to have a happy family. And look, man holding a coin. Whoever this person is, they got, the, they got, they got some money to change the world. Oh, deceit, but they something something that they're decept they're deceitful. Some type of deception. Deceit and a man holding a heart. Camera connections. I feel like is there another somebody else in the picture? I feel like this energy was deceitful to you in the past before. This energy came to I feel like you you I feel like this energy tried to manipulate you with money before. 
but now they had a change of heart. Whoever this cancer is had a change of heart. Now they want to marry you. I feel like somebody realized that, you know, maybe you're not a gold digger or you're not about, you know, you, you don't want their money. Because I feel like whoever this is, they got, they got, a, they got a coin. They got, a, they got the bag. 43 could be significant. 43, um, 34 to 43 could be significant. That's, that's, could, that's, could, that could be your age or this person's age. Okay. Um, 16, 4, 7, and 10 can be significant too. 17 is significant. 16, 17. Yeah, this person wants to move forward in the situation. Yeah, this person wants to um, have a have a happy family with you, but they were deceptive in the past. Yeah, they they didn't they didn't come to you. They came to you with ill intentions or something, or or they came to you. I don't know. I, they 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 didn't see you the way they were supposed to see you, and I and I feel like somebody now sees that you know what this person didn't want didn't. I feel like maybe this person was so used to pe people wanting them for their money because they have they have they have the bag. There's something about this person that have the bag, okay? Whoever this kisser is, they have the bag. They want a happy family with you. They were deceptive in the past. Now, whether you take this person back, that's your that's your business or not. But this person has been deceptive. I feel like they want you to to believe in them because with this caring connections, I feel like they really want to um to they want to give you something. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like uh, this cancer want to give you something. They want to give you a wedding ring. Yeah, they want to marry you, <laughs> right? That's what this cancer wants to do, okay? I feel like they're tired of um, waiting, too, okay? With this chariot, I feel like they're coming in fast because this it's like they, they see you as, you, they, see, they see you as abundance. They see that they can be abundant. Look, action. Yeah, I can't make it up. Victory. They want victory and success with you. They want you to, um, you know, they, they want you to choose them. They know they were deceptive. I feel like this energy is 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 sorry. You know what I'm saying? They they were sorry because they they were they were out of balance. That's why they were deceptive. They were out of balance. So I feel like this person has balanced themselves out, and now they see you for who you are, and now they want to give you a happy family. But before they were being deceptive. So I don't know. You know, people are. You know, people can change. I don't know. You know, this is this is what you want to do, G3. Um, there's always, you know, listen to your intuition. Your intuition will lead you and guide you on what to do with this 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 cancer. But I feel like this cancer is coming in fast because they want to marry you. Okay? Now I don't understand what you know, they trying to come in real fast. Now, whoever this Sagittarius is is envious. They want to tell you the truth about some type of envy. They want to tell you the truth about some type of envious man. Or some type of they want to tell you some type of I feel like whoever this is, they want to bring some type of drama to you. I feel like wherever they are is kind of dark and wherever you are is light. And I feel like somebody is mad about that. So they want to bring something to you. They want to bring some type of truth to you. They want to they want to give you some type they want to give you something that's going to, you know, I don't know, knock you out of balance because that's what the temperance is about, right? Ba balance. So I feel like some somebody wants to knock this earth angel. There we go. It's a Sagittarius that want to knock an earth angel off her throne. They want to tie it's like they want to tie you up. It's like they don't want you to feel good. They want you to feel like them. Okay, this is a Sagittarius. This, look, temperance, that's a Sagittarius. Okay? Ace of Swords. That's truth, clarity. Somebody want they want to bring clarity about some envious energy. Okay, so there's a there's a, a Sagittarius that want to bring some type of clarity about some type of envious energy. Okay? Six chakra. Yeah, I feel like you want okay they want to bring the clarity because they now see the light okay so there's some type of sagittarius that now sees the light yeah i feel like somebody was doing a whole lot of thinking a whole lot of thinking when it came to you and they and this and, and they now see the light so they want to tell you something but i feel like it's to get you out of balance yeah this person is still in some hostile energy about your journey okay look look about your journey. And I feel like whoever whoever this person is, is is mad that you're getting romance and that you're on going to going through your door of happiness and healing and a door to value. I'm seeing that that you are strategic. Okay? You are strategic. I feel like you have truly went along a journey and path and made your heart as light as a feather. I feel like you have truly um you know took some time and focused on on yourself and, and your path 
and all your work led you to the door of value. It led you to the door of personal healing and happiness. It led you to the door of romance. I feel like if your life hasn't changed, it is about to swiftly change. Now, I don't know if it's going to change because this cancer is going to come up and, and, and um, you know, uh, what is it? Um, propose to you. I don't know if that's why it's going to change, but I feel like you're about to be very happy. You're about to be very, you're about to be paid. And I feel like whoever this Sagittarius energy is, they want to come in and knock you in, in, in some hostile energy and knock you out of balance because they know that something is shifting in your life. Okay. Let me get one more to clarify this energy, mother. Something is shifting in your life. And I feel like whoever, whoever, whoever this Sagittarius is can, can feel it. They can feel it. So they want to come and bring you something, bring you some type of truth, but it's only to get you out of balance. Okay. It's only to, it's, 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 yeah, it's only to, to prolong your journey. It's only to stop your journey. It's only to stop you from this transformation. Okay. Cause I feel like somebody had a major transformation, um, this year. Okay. Isn't this year 22? Look at the cards. 20 and two. So two, two. I feel like this year, somebody here is 34. Okay, this year, you you decided to focus on your light and go and follow a, a path, go down a path. And I feel like somebody maybe is trying to, I don't know, put something in your drink. Maybe somebody wants to say, oh, let's go out drinking or whatever. They're going to try to slip something in your drink. I feel like just be mindful of who this person is because this person is filled with envy and hostile energies. Okay, let's, now let's go to this uh, this Libra. Who, who I feel like it's a Libra that, that want justice. They, they want to love you. They want to be with you. Okay. They, it's a Libra that want to let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things. This is new love. You got to look daughter romance. This is new love. And this is your justice. Whoever this Libra is, this I'm getting an Empress energy too. So this is some type of, um, this is somebody who got they got it together. Who somebody somebody who's who's matching your energy, G three. I feel like this is somebody who is going to love you and bring balance in your life. Hmm. Ooh. Thirty three. Somebody is thirty three. Somebody is a healer. I'm talking to a healer here. Somebody is a healer. But listen. Ooh. You got two people here. You got two, 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 two lovers here. You got somebody from your past that wants to come back and marry you. And you got a new energy. That's, that's going to bring you real love. Real peace. Real happiness. That's going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. That's going to let me love you down. Ooh, listen, the choice is always yours, baby. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have a you're going to have a decision to make. You're going to have a decision to make between two people because you have a new energy here. Okay? And this is this is some type of Libra who let me love you down. Who feel like you the one. Okay? So it's a Leo. It's a Libra that want to be with a Leo. Clarify this energy. Clarify this lever, this justice energy. Anxiety. They're anxious. I feel like this person hasn't come in yet because they're nervous. I feel like somebody's biting their fingers. They're trying to meditate on this energy. They're trying to think because I feel like somebody knows that sh that you're the one that they're supposed to be with. Whoever this Libra is knows that you're the one with this with this contract here. They know that you're the one that 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 they're supposed to be with but i feel like that maybe they're still thinking about a contract this maybe they're thinking like you know they, it's like i'm getting a mature energy i'm getting a very like namaste smooth smooth operator smooth operator yeah that's what i'm getting i'm getting like a smooth operator energy yeah this person don't chase, they attract, right? Yeah, I feel like this is a this is this is somebody who who draws what's for them to them. This Libra is pulling this Leo in. Or this Leo is pulling this Libra in. Ooh, I feel like the Leo is pulling the Libra in. Look how she's looking. 
Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, is like hypnotized by you. It's like, I feel like it's like kind of like love at first sight. But they're nervous. They're, they're nervous in your energy. You know, I feel like, of course, because you're the Leo, you're bold. You're the sun. You shine bright. You know, they can't miss you. You're a star. You're, you know, you're, you, you know, you're a lot of energy. You're big energy. That's what I'm getting. Your energy is big. You got big energy. Yeah, and I feel like this this Libra is so attracted, okay, to this energy, but they're like nervous too at the same time. Look, the thinking man. Yeah, somebody's thinking. They're just in this. They're thinking about it. It's like they're thinking. They're all in their head about this energy because I feel like somebody is is like, yo, who is this? <laughs> Why do I feel this way about this energy? This is a new person. Why do I feel this way? This Who is this diamond in the rough? That's what I'm seeing. I feel like they want to bring you some type of balance, though. They want to they wanna be... They want to bring some type of stability to you. You got two energies that want to be with you. Okay? You got somebody from your past that was deceptive, but they want to come back and marry you now because they see the light. And you got somebody new here that... Already see the light. Mm, I like that. I like that type of energy. You already see the light? Yeah, that's what you need. You, and I feel like that's what you've been manifesting, right? Somebody that already... So, like, you've been manifesting success. You've been... See, then I said a Leo is pulling in the Libra. That's exactly what's happening. Because that's what... The, the, the Leo is manifesting success in abundance, in love, in all areas of, of, of her life or of his life. And I feel like... The Libra finds it very, very attractive, but it kind of makes them nervous too. Like, wow, I never felt this way. I never felt so pulled or like somebody never felt like so connected or wanted to like be with somebody intimately. I feel like this person wants to like make love to you. Like, I feel like, you know, you 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 meet somebody and you, you know, you have sex with them and just blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, I feel like this person is like, no, I want to make they want to make love to you. And they never felt like that before. They never met somebody and wanted to just make love to them. It's like, wait, that's different. This is, this is, this is, a, you know, I don't just want to turn you over and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Or I don't just want to, you know, you know, do you and get some money from you and, and leave. Cause you know, that's what women be doing. Like, right. They do you get some money and then dip. I don't listen. They're like, I don't, I don't you know, they, they, they use you and shit like that. It's like, no, this woman is like, I don't feel like that. It's like, I want to be with this person. And this man is like, I don't feel like that. It's like, I want to. I want to be with this person. I want to give this person my all. And it's like, I don't even know who this, who this energy is. I'm just admiring them. I'm just staring at them. I'm just, I feel like this person is like, wow, like, what is this? And then this energy, that energy is making them anxious. It's like, I feel like they're overthinking. Like, damn, is, is, am I really feeling this way? That's what somebody's look. That's how somebody's looking at you, Leo. Am I really feeling this way? Yeah, a woman holding a heart. Yeah. Look, camera connection. So you got you got new love here, okay? 44, 14 is first gonna be 44. Um 14, 5, a life path five. I see a life path eight. I see a life path nine. Um, I see January 8th can be significant. April 4th can be significant and January 4th. So something is going on. I feel like this this connection is going to pick. I feel like this this connection with this Libra is going to pick up between January 1st and January 8th. I feel like this, this is when this person is going to come towards you. This is when they're going to, th during that time is when they're going to get out of that anxious, 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 anxious energy and bring some type of, look, bring some type of um, commitment to you or, or, or like express, express how they feel towards you, right? Because the bird is the word, right? But the bird cage here, I, I feel like somebody wants to, they're going to come. So next year. Oh, so I feel like I feel like this this energy is a test. I feel like if you pass this energy, I feel like you know I'm not gonna say a test. I feel like you have a choice. I feel like your past is gonna come to you before the new year. If you do not accept this past energy, all hope is not lost for you because in the new year, whoever this is that's, that's been admiring you for, from afar is going to pull up on you. And, 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 and I feel like this person is, is, going, to be, is, is going to be successful. They're thinking. They, they, they can't get you out of their head. Okay? 
They can't get you out of their head. Give me some more about this um this cancer energy, this past energy. You know, I know you, you you don't really care too much about your past, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes people some some people still do. So let's see what's going on with this cancer because I feel like this person, you know, they they finally seen the light, but I feel like it was a lot of deception. Goddess of the moon. Yeah, it was a lot of secrets. It was a lot of secrets. This was this was some type of community penis or community vagina. They were getting around. Okay. They had a lot of people in their energy. I feel like they was they was giving a lot of people money. They were giving, they were like taking care of a lot of people. They would do it. They were just doing a lot. I feel like it's a lot of secrets with this energy. Let me get let me clarify. Where's my other that? Oh. What's going on with this cancer mother? The devil. Yeah, they were in some some devilish energy. And I feel like they changed because they 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 surrendered. I feel like they sur they surrendered now. So that I feel like it came out in reverse though. I feel like they're still in this devilish energy. They're trying to turn it around. Oh, so they're no longer in this devilish energy because they have now seen the light. But they were in some type of devilish energy. They were keeping secrets, right? But now they want the will to turn in their favor. Now they're trying to bring you these emotions. But something about these emotions are upside down. It's like they're still in some young energy. It's like something about this energy is still, you know, like young. It's like, yeah, they're ch they, they, they want you. They want to have this happy family. But I feel like this is going to be, it's like... I don't know. It's a lot of it's, it's a lot that comes with this energy. Four of voices, four of swords. I feel like there's still yeah, there's still some darkness, dark magic. Look, but, um, um, the magician in reverse. This can either this can even be a Gemini justice in reverse. Whoever this energy is, is doing magic on your emperor, on whoever this Libra, on, on whoever this Libra is. Wait, this cancer is trying to block your new relationship. And I feel like they were doing magic at one point. But because the magic isn't working, now they're going to try to come in and, and, and propose or something. I feel like it's a lot of manipulation with this energy. I really do. I really do. They're trying to um, do some type of magic on your, they're trying to, they don't want you to get justice in love. They don't want you to have, they don't want you to be in love. Whoever this cancer is, don't want you to really have love. <laughs> but you have love. So somebody's going to come back and try to propose to you. Ah, I don't know if they really want you to have love though. So I don't know what that's about. Okay. I still, feel, maybe they're jealous. They're envious too. Okay. This, this, they could be envious too. Okay. Let's go. I just want to clarify more of this Sagittarius, this temperance energy, because what's going on with this earth angel? Yeah. I feel like nobody wants you to have love. Everybody wants you to walk away from love. You see what's going on here? Everybody's envious of this new, this, this connection that you're coming into. You're coming into a beautiful connection with somebody and this mad people that's trying to stop it. They're trying to stop your door to romance. Look, this is what somebody, this is what this person is going to try to do. Come in and bring some type of storm. Didn't I tell you? It's, it's some type of Sagittarius that's going to try to bring some type of storm to an earth angel when it comes to her love life. Because in her journey or his love life in his journey, because they're envious. They don't want you to, they don't want you to walk in your spirit. They don't want you to walk in your truth. I feel like somebody feels like you're walking away from them if you walk in your truth. Okay, this can be family. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a family, a family member or a lover or a friend. However, or, or past lovers or exes because I'm seeing that. It's like both of these energies want to stop you from getting love. That's crazy. And look, second chakra is your sacral chakra. You, you, you are supposed to have love. Somebody here is 36, 37. Somebody's intuition is leading them towards love. Somebody's sacral chakra is leading them towards love. It's pulling them towards true love. 
Yes, it's pulling them towards a connection that that is out of this world for both energies and both parties. I feel like this Leo and this Libra is going to live a beautiful life. But whoever these energies are, this Cancer and this Sagittarius, they don't want you to have love. So how is somebody going to propose to you and they don't want you to have love? Isn't shouldn't, shouldn't you only propose to people that you want to like be with and like love? So it's like this person wants to stop you from something. They don't want you to go move forward in something. Okay? And it doesn't have to be a sun sign cancer. Oh, mother said these are sun signs. So it's a cancer, it's a it's a sun, it's a cancer sun, a, a, a Sagittarius sun, and a Libra sun. These are sun signs. Ooh. Let's get some advice for what you need to do with all of this energy. It's a lot of energy. You got big energy over there. What's going on? My mother said, remain positive. Remain positive in this situation. And these, it, because at the end of the day, you're going to get what's destined for you. Okay? You're going to get what's yours. Nobody's going to be able to stop that. Okay? No no, no fake-ass proposal. No, um, you know, storm warnings. None of that. I feel like you're going to be um, bombarded with a bunch of helpful people. Okay? A lot of people are coming to help you to, to um, I feel like, help you shine. Yeah, your situation will improve. You're ready. So I feel like you're ready for, you know, whatever you're about to come into, this new life, this new love. You know, you're you're ready for new stuff. Everything of the past is old. You're going towards the light. Mother said, follow the light. Follow the, um, your intuition. Follow the truth within you. And if you follow the truth within you, you're going to follow the, you're going to follow your intuition straight into your success, straight into your abundance, straight into true love, real love. Okay. I don't know what these energies are, but they're going to have to, you know, give it a break. Give it a break. And this is within the next few months. I feel like, yeah, big, happy changes, if you believe. So within the next few months, big, happy changes. Because you're ready for something. You're ready for this connection. You're ready for this love. You're ready for this commitment. You're ready for this contract, okay? You're ready to move forward. And whoever this is, is, is they're in recovery, but they, look, but they're ready to move forward with you. Yes, they're ready to move forward with you. They're in recovery, but they're ready to move forward with you too, okay? So I feel like, yeah, peaceful resolution. I feel like there's going to be a peaceful re resolution with this with this cancer too. Because I feel like whoever this is, they put, they betrayed you, but I, but, or, and they were dis deceitful. But I really feel like they want some type of peaceful resolution. They want some type of happy change, okay? But I feel like, you know, I don't know. However, how, oh, let it go. <laughs> be assertive. Don't need to worry. Let it go because you have abundance on your side. You are going to be very abundant in every as in every area of your life. Okay? So whatever is not leading you towards abundance or whatever is giving you a false sense of abundance, get away from that because it's nothing false about your abundance. Okay? It's nothing false about your love life. It's nothing false about what you're coming into. The only thing that's, that's false is the people around you that don't believe in it or that's trying to stop it and block it. So be mindful of the energies around you, G3, at this time. I'm seeing they're very, it's a lot. And they're kind of chaotic because they want to stop you. But you do have a peaceful resolution. You do have a love coming towards you, Leo. I'm going to keep calling the Leo. I don't know who this Leo is, but this Libra can, can't. You're just too good to be true. Can't keep my eyes off of you. You seem like heaven to touch. Oh, how I love. Oh, how I want you so much. And I didn't die, right. But I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Can't keep my eyes off of you. <laughs> CG3.